Clarification on the Devon Lerett vs Evgeny Prudnik super match video. Is this super match confirmed? Is it not confirmed? Did I use a clickbait in that video? What has Engin said about this situation? And what mistakes I made in that video? All of these information plus East vs West 5 updates in this single video. So point number one, I used like seven question marks in that video. I know it doesn't mean everything, but it means that the YouTuber is not 100% sure about the information and I will clarify that I used those words. So point number one, Engin Terzi did say that Devon Lett has assured him that he is going to compete at East versus West sooner or later. Engin Terzi's estimate mere guess was that that competition in which Devon is going to compete could be around July. It was Engin's guess, not confirmed. This is something that I also mentioned in my video. And Engin wants that match to be against Evgeny Prudnik. This is what Engin has also said. I'm not sure why many people are saying that Engin never mentioned the opponent. Engin talked about Devon versus Prudnik for like 10 minutes in his live stream. Like how Prudnik can be difficult and how Devon can make weight to pull it Prudnik at 115 kilos. Point number three is that Engin said that the opponent is going to be Prudnik unless Devon wants it to be someone else. Someone mentioned why not Hermes. Engin replied that he has promised Prudnik and he is not going to change it unless Devon wants it to be changed. So the situation is that Devon is going to compete. Engin's estimate is around July next year. It could be earlier, it could be later. And Engin wants the opponent to be Prudnik or whoever Devon wants. Now tell me why that match wouldn't be Prudnik versus Devon if Devon is going to compete. I, and I trust Devon, he is going to compete there. And most probably, most probably, Prudnik is still going to be the champion of East versus West till, till that time. And if Devon is going to compete, the biggest match for sure is going to be Evgeny Prudnik. Devon has already faced Monster Michael Todd many times. And Prudnik is the guy that they want to see. Plus this match is also East versus West. Who else is left? John Brzezink. I don't think Devon is going to pull John Brzezink at East versus West. He can do that at probably Monster Factory or some other place. Engin has also mentioned many times that he's not really interested in West versus West matches in Turkey. And Ongerbayev, maybe, maybe, but Prudnik is the most feasible match and I believe Devon is going to compete and till then Devon is going to have only one option, that would be Evgeny Prudnik. So combining all these points, Engin saying that Devon is going to compete, the opponent in his mind is Prudnik and that is going to be the opponent unless Devon wants it to be changed. So why would Devon change it? Will he say that no, I know that this is the best match, this is the title match. But I don't feel comfortable going against Prudnik, so I'm not competing. So I can see only two situations why, why th that match won't happen. Situation number one is Devon says to Engin that, Yes, Engin, I did promise you that I'm going to compete at East versus West. But now I can't. For some reason, I won't compete. That was reason number one. Reason number two will be Engin, yes, Prudnik is a great match, but I don't want to go against Prudnik. I want someone else. These are the only two reasons and I see the possibilities of these two reasons to be very less. And one more thing why Engin said that it is not confirmed. Why he wrote it in capital letters. Because he has to do it. He is the promoter. Unless he's completely sure like, yes, I'm going to book flight tickets now. Till then, it is almost impossible for Engin Terzi to announce matches. What if he promises and he's not able to deliver for that 1% chance that the match may be cancelled. So we need to look at it from a promoter's point of view. We need to step in in Engin's shoes. Why would he announce a match unless it is 100% sure? Why would he try to make promises that he may not be able to fulfill? And last point, the mistake that I made in my video. So I won't lie, I had my live stream scheduled in like 2 minutes from that time. And I was listening to Engin Terzi's podcast. And Engin just announced this information and I was like, I need to upload it now. But I had only two minutes to go live and I just immediately recorded that video is not even two minutes. I recorded it and uploaded it 
and I was like three minutes late in that live stream. You can see that that video is single take, no cuts in that video, zero editing in that video. I did not even include the sponsorship video in that that video. So I was in a hurry. I I know I shouldn't upload videos like that. If I had the regular six, seven, eight minutes to explain everything in that video, I don't think there would have been any confusion. For that, I apologize. I'll be careful next time. So the changes in East versus West 5 card are Wagner Bortolato will now be going against Georgi Zaranov from Kazakhstan left-handed instead of Tobias Sparong. So Wagner versus Tobias is cancelled and Tobias Sparong will be going against Zaranov right-handed. So this is the match. Tobias versus Irakli right-handed is cancelled. And East versus West 6, Engin Terzi has announced Rustam Babayev versus Irakli Zarakashvili right. Rustam has not confirmed it yet. It will be confirmed in September. Thank you for watching. If you work out, if you like arm wrestling news, and if you buy supplements, please consider Old School Labs code is in the description. Link is in the description. Thank you very much and bye-bye.